and welcome to Kirsty's Corner. So today I'm going to make this Mother's Day chocolate bouquet. I'm mainly using um, Cadbury's chocolates, so if you'd like to make this for your special mum, carry on watching. So to make this bouquet you're going to need uh, some skewers, I've got some um, purple metallic cellophane, some cellophane with purple and pink dots on, some chocolates, some curling ribbons, some tissue paper, a balloon, a florist box and a pool bow, some oasis, some glue, you know, glue dots, uh, florist tape, sellotape, some scissors and some straws and then some cling film. I mean, I will leave a, a list of all the things that I've used in the description below. So first of all, I'm going to put um, the florist box together. Remember, it just comes um, in a flat pack so that it's very easy to, to put together. And then put the pool bow around it. I mean, if you don't have this florist box, because sometimes they're quite difficult to get hold of. I mean, I buy them from a florist supplier or online, from um, eBay or Amazon. But sometimes, you know, that you can't get the colour that you're wanting as well. Um, so then just use something else, use like a plant pot. You could also use um, a gift box, um, an old um, vase, um, any container that, you know, you think that would look nice um, to display the bouquet in. So first of all, we're going to take some of the um, cellophane and then we're going to cut two um, sheets of this and then um, use a sheet of the tissue paper and then pop the oasis inside of it and then pop that inside the florist box. And then we're going to cut a few strips of the cellophane and the metallic cellophane and just cut them into squares. Like I said, they don't have to be um, any particular size. I tend to probably get about um, five or six squares out of uh, one strip, but it all depends on obviously the length of the roll of cellophane you're using. So once we've cut the squares, um, we're then going to um, attach them to a, a skewer, just with some sellotape. Uh, these ones will just be for the fill of the um, bouquet, but later on we'll use some of these squares as well um, to um, attach them to the sweets and the skewers. I'm just going to cover the skewer in some florist tape but you don't have to you don't have to do this at all and I'm using some white but you can get green you get all different colors of florist tape and you know you can buy lots of different ones so or cover it in ribbon if you want to um, but like I said you don't have to also or you could then um, instead use some some of the straws which um, I do I put them in put the skewer inside a straw so that's just an easy way of covering um, covering the skewer so what I'm doing now, I'm just attaching the sweets to the skewer with some sellotape and then attaching some of the metallic um, cellophane and the spotted cellophane to uh, the, the sweet as well. 
You can then add some curling ribbon to it as well. And remember, as before, uh, you can cover the skewer with um, the florist tape if you wish, or the straw, or just leave it, you know, as it is, it doesn't matter. It's just a little bit nicer when um, the person pulls out uh, the sweet from the bouquet. But like I said, you don't have to do this. So just continue to do this for all of the chocolates or sweets you, you're using uh, to put in the bouquet. I mean, I tend to use probably about 20 um, chocolates or sweets per bouquet. Sometimes more depends you know, on the size of the chocolates. Uh, but like I said, it's up to you. It's up to you, whatever um, the amount that you choose to use. I'm going to um, use some Ferrero Rocher within this bouquet I don't want to stick um, the skewer directly to the, the sweet uh, the chocolate itself so I'm going to cover it in some cling film and then attach it with some sellotape to the skewer and then just complete the uh, repeat sorry the the process we're using the cellophane and the uh, florist tape and some curling ribbon and instead of using cling film you can use clear cellophane as well Right, so now we're ready to build the bouquet. So first of all, I'm going to um, put in the balloon and then build it around it, this, this bouquet. So, you know, I'm going to pop in the, the chocolates or sweets, whatever you're using. I said, don't be afraid to take them in and out of the Oasis, stand back, have a look, see what you think to it. You know, do you like it? You know, do you need to add more sweets or less? I'm also going to attach some um, plastic butterflies for decorations. Um, I bought these from, I think they were eBay or you can get them from Amazon and um, just a pack of I think there's probably about 12 in a pack they're just plastic butterflies and I've uh, glued them to one to some of the skewers as well
once you've added all of the chocolates, I just want to fill in any gaps with the uh, metallic cellophane you know, that's just attached to the skewer without any chocolates. That's, this is a completed bouquet, all ready to give for Mother's Day. But I, because I, I want to give it as, as a gift, I'm going to cover it and wrap it in some cellophane. You don't have to, um, but if you've got some spare cellophane, it's, it looks nice. Measure the height of the bouquet and then times it by two and a half. So I'm just going to use um, um, a band just to tie it at the top. You can use a piece of curling ribbon or string and then another pull bow. I mean, it just looks a little bit nicer when you're um, giving it as a gift. So that's the completed bouquet all ready to give um, on Mother's Day. I mean it's just such a lovely thing to give as a gift and I mean who wouldn't want one of these? And if you did like this video please subscribe for more like this and I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching and keep smiling.